Baraka Thaya Hau, Baraka Thaya Hau Asha, Baraka Thaya Hau, Baraka Thaya Hau Asha, all praises to Yahau, Bashim Yahau Asha, Bashim Rikakadash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Asha being the name of His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Now you see, the truth starting to come out, and it's been on the rise since 2007. Uh, around about 2009, you had the Illuminati being spread it around uh, because Tupac tried to bring it out in uh, 1996. And um, the young generation then who was listening to him they wouldn't know what Illuminati was if, if it slapped them in the face and you had to go to a library because they had information totally on lockdown in the 90s. But then 2000 came and you had um, Elon Musk and his brother and a lot of these other people putting information on the computer, uh, the phone book, dictionaries, encyclopedias, then you get the internet, Wikipedia. And so then information started to flourish. See, the truth started to flourish. And so now you can go and research these organizations and these individuals and see who own what, who controls what, you see? And so this is what's going on with the truth now, that they can't hide the truth, they only can demonize the truth. See, that's two different things. See, first they were able to hide the truth, but now, they can't hide the truth. They only can demonize the truth. They only can uh, say that you're doing something wrong by telling the truth. You see, they can give uh, statements and say words that uh, would, uh, would uh, suggest that you're doing something nefarious you're doing something that's evil and wrong and bad, and you're going to harm people. And they have the power with their media to uh, make something happen that, uh, say, for example, they can say, oh, if you say that chocolate cake um, is poisonous, and people, and you have influence, people are not going to buy chocolate cake and uh, you, you're you going to put all the people selling chocolate cake out of business. And so if you have power to, if you're the one selling all the chocolate cake, you can just stop selling chocolate cake and stop making chocolate cake and say, Oh, this person said this, and now look at what's happening. You see, you can uh, influence the, you can um, affect the results or tamper with the results of what you made up. See, you said this was going to be the result. You got the power to make that happen. When the statement, you blaming it on the statement. You blaming it on this person telling the truth about the chocolate cake, which chocolate cake is full of sugar, which will turn into toxins in your body, which translates into poison. But that's a whole nother story, uh, Salaki. Let's get this in the scriptures in uh, Second Ezra. So this is a prophecy about the truth coming out. I think it's six. Second Ezra six. Let's see here. 
Now we got um twenty. It talks about how the truth would um in the end it say and when the world that shall begin to flourish or to vanish away, meaning when the world is starting to vanish away and shall be finished, meaning to come to an end. At the end, it says, Then I will show these tokens, and the books shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see all together. That's talking about that internet. See, when everything, when the world was coming to an end, the internet was going to bring out the books, bring the truth out of the book. But look at verse um, 27. It says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be uh, quenched. 28. It said, As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. So now, you got the truth going to come out. Because now the Lord has set up this internet and now he can push out the truth. And so now you have people who probably would have came up with some other excuse. They can't do that now because they heard the truth. They might have didn't understand it at that time, but then when they see it for themselves, they it, it, it start to uh, manifest. You see, when it when it start to affect them, cause like it's like Americans, they be in la la land until it hit them. See, if it's a flood or it's famine going on in other countries and war going on in other countries, they pay no attention. They say, well, that's on them. Glad I'm in America. But when it start to come to America. Then they start to get in the uproar and say, well, it's me, and, and, and we need to do something about this. Then they start to take action and worry about it. And so let's get another spot in Daniel chapter 12. It says, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Verse 9, and he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. See, it's closed up and sealed. That meaning nobody would be hearing this truth uh, until the time of the end. I'm not going to let this truth out until the end of the world, pretty much. And so, this is what's going on with Kanye West and the truth about the Israelites, the chosen race that was in the Bible. Those books that's in that Bible was going to come out. They was going to be open. They was going to be unsealed. They was going to be uh, given the understanding. The understanding was going to be given, you see, to the, the children of the Israelites. Let's go ahead and get that. Deuteronomy 29 29. It said, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. See, it belongs to the Israelites to get the truth, to get the revelation, to get what's being revealed. See, what was hidden for so long, the truth was hidden and didn't flourish for so long. But now, it's going to be given to the Israelites. I got one more. Uh, let's see, Colossians. Chapter 1, verse 26 to 27. It says, 26, even a mystery which have been hid from ages and from generation, but now is made manifest to his saints. See, it's been made manifest to his saints, which are the Israelites. You see, 
Let's go ahead and get that. See, we, we back up what we saying by our, the words of our forefathers. See, they came back up, man, because they speaking lies. He said he also exalted his horn. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. See, the saints are the children of Israel, and the mysteries will be made manifest unto them. The secrets will be made manifest unto them, revealed unto them, not revealed to any other nation, any other people. And so, let's go ahead and get that. He said, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. See, these other nations is not going to be given the word. They're not going to be given the revelation. That's why Daniel 12 and 10 it said, the wicked shall not understand. They're not going to understand. That's why they asked the question, well, why God want to choose one group of people? <laughs> you see, that's why they ask that stupid question. When they know the whole beginning of the Bible is about him choosing one group of people. But they come out of their lips and say, well, why God want to choose one group of people? You see, they won't understand it because due to the lies that was given to them by the elite Edomites. See, Edomites is the one that's high and everything. That's Jer Jeremiah 49 and 10. They don't want to be uh revealed that's why first second thessalonians the second chapter verse three talk about the man of sin being reve revealed in verse eight talking about that wicked see that wicked goes back to the nation of edom the border of wickedness malachi one and four and so they trying to hide the situation hide their identity hide the truth but now, in the end, it's being made manifest to the saints, and they're going to come with great wrath. See, that's Revelation 12 and 12. Great wrath is going to be uh, upon these Edomites, and they're going to be coming to make war with the remnant of her seed, meaning the remnant of the Israelites, the ones that's obeying the Lord, keeping his commandments and having faith in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. But I'm gonna leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rikakadash, the bonus to the elders pushing the truth, peace of the elect, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, descendants of slaves scattered around the globe on slave ships and through many captivities. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.